On the great day, all eyes are on the two special trains bringing the Princess of Wales and the President of Finland, Dr. Koi Visto. First who arrived was the President of Finland. He is introduced by the Lord Lieutenant of Hampshire, Lieutenant Colonel Sir James Scott, to the waiting dignitaries from the County of Hampshire and the City of Southampton. Next comes the Royal Train bringing Princess Diana. The princess was presented with a bouquet by assistant purser Sally Children, the youngest member of the ship's company. Sally served during the Falklands campaign on Canberra, a ship with which p &O also made a design breakthrough in 1961. and then through the waiting crowds to the real business of the day, to meet the President of Finland. The Chairman of P&O Cruises, Rodney Leach, and Mrs. Leach. P&O Cruises Managing Director, Alan Langley, and Mrs. Langley. The princess mounts the podium where the Bishop of Southampton will bless the ship. here today, and it gives me immense pleasure to ask you to name this ship. I name this ship Royal Princess. May God bless her and all who sail in her. Let's have three cheers for Her Royal Highness and the Royal Princess. Head head. Head head. Head head.
princess, accompanied by piano group chairman Jeffrey Sterling, is piped on board. Followed by the president of Finland and Dr. Rodney Beach. On board, Captain John Young takes the princess on a guided tour of the ship. The swimming pool, one of the largest afloat, set in a tiled area beautifully finished in teak wood. to the Lido pools, the perfect setting for gentle days in the Caribbean. And then finally to the bridge, the nerve center of the ship. A chat with the deck officers and also a look at the control panel. A royal toot on the ship's whistle. But once is never enough. After a celebration lunch on board, the guests gathered in the plaza for presentations to the princess. Piano chairman Jeffrey Sterling opens the proceedings. Your Royal Highness, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency, the President of the Finnish Republic. We are here today to witness an occasion that also we Finns take particular pride in. We have been assembled here not to attend the naming ceremony of just another chief, but a vessel that bears the marks of the long standing economic cooperation between our countries. I wish her all success on seven seas. We at the Vaxilla Company are proud and most grateful to Your Royal Highness that you consented to perform the traditional ceremony of naming this new ship. And may I, as a token of our profound appreciation and gratitude to you, as godmother of the Royal Princess, present to you this gift 
which is another Finnish product designed by a young Finnish artist and made of Finnish stone and Finnish stones. The chairman of the Vetsilla Group presents the princess with a gift from the Helsinki shipyard. Excellencies, Madam Mayor, my lords, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Captain Young, his ship's company, and all of us within PNO, may I extend our thanks to you, Your Royal Highness, for joining us as lady sponsor of Royal Princess. She is a fine ship proud representative of our nation's great trading and maritime tradition. Royal Princess is an excellent example of international cooperation and will be an important contributor to our country's trading income. I wish to pay the highest tribute to Vatsila and in doing so draw attention to the many hundreds of men and women in that company and our own company, whose personal effort has created this ship and will see her successfully into service. We are all delighted and honored, Your Royal Highness, that you're able to be with us today as she formally joins the PO fleet. I hope you will accept this memento of the occasion together with our best wishes. As you will see, Your Royal Highness, it is a replica of our centerpiece in certain company. <laughs> I cannot get over how very kind you've all been to me today. I have been showered with beautiful presents by the chairman of Bartzilla, by Mr. Sterling, and by the ship's company, and I am enormously grateful. I only hope that all the passengers who travel in the ship are equally as lucky. But even if they aren't, I am sure they will all feel they've enjoyed a unique experience once they have been on a cruise in this remarkable ship. From now on, I shall have a special interest in wherever Royal Princess sails, and I am sure she will prove to be a great asset to P&O and to Great Britain. I wish all those who sail in her particularly our ship's company, the very best of good fortune in the future.